Okay, in this video I'm going to teach us how to make a website in HTML5 and how to, well basically how to edit a template that's done in HTML5 for web design. So this is the template that we're going to be editing today and interacting with. Um, and I can give you these templates as well. This is what it's going to look like. This is what the, uh, it will look like mobile version. Okay, it's got an app menu, you can go to the contact section, and it's got an iframe in it. It's uh, sending messages. It's a template, all right, that we set up. And these are all the images. That's the solid team portfolio images. It's got services. It's got an about you section. Now, here's how it's going to look. It, it responds mobily, and whatever size it's going to be, it's going to respond to it. So if we scroll down, only thing is, you can't see all the features because uh, this is just to view it. You, to see all the actual features that the website has, we're going to open up a project, a program called Brackets. In Brackets, I'm going to take my website itself, put the whole root folder directory in Brackets, open up the index, and this here is a live preview. So we're going to click Live Preview. So here we have it. We have a brand new, um, here's how it looks. If you go down, there's social media icons, there's an up, uh, you go back to the top, and it still collapses. Whoops and it still collapses and responds to all mobile devices just like as it would okay and this is the one that we're all going to be editing today first thing I want to do I'm going to open up this page we're not going to change the logo yet we're going to just change these three images and this this text in here alright so we want to make this unique to ourselves I'm going to use an image of my son just to just to kinda give us a quick reference image in this way we know what to do with them you can make it any subject matter you want in this case I'm making it my child alright so I'm gonna minimize this and minimize this first thing I need to do sorry about that I want to get these images and see what size they are these three pictures this one background this background and that background I'm gonna open up Photoshop I opened it up already but I'm gonna show you how to open it in Photoshop we'll go to file open on the desktop I have the file the folder is called default one page responsive I'm gonna open up this is it it's got it's cascading style sheets images JavaScript a contact us PHP form uh, page an index HTML page this is for blogs and this is a simple readme which explains to you how to go about interacting with this uh, particular template we're gonna open up images I know that BG1 is the big image you can also do that by going to the website itself and you could right click go to inspect element in Google Chrome in Google Chrome it'll tell you what the images are alright so that's a really helpful tip for Chrome and you can X out of the image in, uh, image inspector element inspector excuse me so I'm gonna go into Photoshop I know that BG1 is, or BG2 I could edit first so I'll open up BG2 now I wanna replace BG2 with an image it's this easy guys you go to file open I'm gonna go to the desktop I got an image of my uh, my son over here with me I'll open it up very big image here I'm gonna go to image image size uh, it's fine I'll take it why not alright I'm just gonna go to well let's see how big the other image is first that's this image 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 size 1900 okay so I know I can go to this image here image image size this is 3000 so I'm just gonna make it 2000 pixels and 139 is fine I'm gonna go to select all edit copy go into my new image edit paste bam there it is it actually fits pretty good I can move it down a bit click my move tool and move it down a bit if I wanted to but I'll uh, you know what let's see right about there's good I think that's kinda cool to be honest I'll take a little bit of the mat handle off alright good we'll go to file save for web um, I'm not gonna teach you guys how to edit things in Photoshop for this I have a separate thing I teach that alright so I'm just gonna save images we're gonna go to save now I know that if I save it in BG2 make sure it's in the right directory I know it was in images on my desktop default one page responsive images and it's BG2 hit save and replace now 
we can go back into the website itself, hit refresh, and let's see what. All right, there's the first image, there's the second, and there is the third. It changed, and now the image is changed in here. All right, now you can't really see it too well, but you would adjust it in Photoshop and make the change then and there. All right, so let's change these other two images now. The first one, all right. If I want my image to be the first image, like this one, all you would do is you would go into here and you would go to in Photoshop. Whoopsie. You would go to File, Save As. Oops. Excuse me. Save for Web. Oh, sorry about that. File, Save for Web. And it would be a JPEG. Fine. Save. You would call it BG1. Save. Replace. Go back into your image. Refresh it. One. There's my image. The second one should be the same image. And then there's your third. So let's change the second image now. We'll go into Photoshop. This image we don't need anymore. Let's go to File. Open. Well, let me see. show you this. File. Open. On the desktop, I had this image. I don't need it now. I'll do this one. This little one of him. Open. All right. Image. I remember from the last one, I made it 2,000. The size was 2000. Okay, I'm going to go to image. You can do auto tone, auto contrast, I'll control L, just lighten it up a bit. It's just to lighten it. That's fine. Select all, copy. Go into your, your actual portfolio, and you're going to go to edit, paste. This is the portfolio thumbnail. We'll put them right here, right about there. That's fine. It's pretty. It's cute. We'll go to File, Save for Web, Save. It's going to be BG1 now. Save, Replace. Let's check the image. Make sure it works. Refresh. BG1. There it is. There's your second, which we just replaced. And now let's do the third. All right, the third one now. Okay, for the third one, I'm going to go back into Photoshop really quickly. Don't need this image anymore. See you later. We'll go to File, Open. On my desktop, I'm going to take this image now, which is my son and my uh, one of my friend's uh, children. So I'm going to go to Image, Auto Tone, Image, Auto Contrast. Let's say that that's fine. Image Size. Make it 2000. Because we know that, that just this particular size is uh, good for what we started with. We're going to select all, copy, go into your new one, paste. Bang, there he is. And we'll take this like that. And we'll put this little guy just like that, right there. File, save for web, save. It's in the same file directory. There's my BG1, BG2, which are JPEGs. There's my third save yes we're replacing it now since I've replaced that file when I go into here which is our file tree I'm gonna hit control F I'm gonna go BG1 dot JPG enter I don't see anything why uh, oh BG dash one sorry Control F, BG-1. All right, now, here we are in the file tree. There's my first image, there's my second, and there's my third. So let's see how it looks live. Refresh it. There's your first one. There's your second. And there's your third image. All right, now... What we want to change is this text here. And it's written in HTML, which gets picked up by Google's droids. And um, all of Google Analytics, they all pick up the, um, the HTML and it gets put into your search engine optimization. So these are good that they're not picture tags. These are actually HTML tags. So you're going to go into here. And for source one, I know that this image, this is the writing. It says modern, creative, responsive on it. If I just change this to simply adorable uh, or 
first time in snow. Now this information can be anything. Uh, make it a capital I, capital T. First time in snow, and we'll save it. Let's see it. Refresh. Go back to the first one. First time in snow. Now we'll change this part. Nutella. We'll just put first time in snow. Let's put memories. Memories are born. Next one for one page responsive let's see the other image alright let's put father and son we'll change this tag right here which is an H3 tag we're gonna call it father and son father and son on this one we'll put forever this is the bottom sub tag that's written in blue which bounces in right with this uh, CSS tag so we'll put forever and last but not least the next one, what is this one, JPEG3, we'll put family is everything. In this H3 tag, which is on actually line 77, and we'll come down a little bit lower, and we'll put love, loyalty, and respect. Love, loyalty, and respect. And we'll go to save. Save all. Now you'll notice that I only edited the images and the text on the P tags that are surrounding it. And the, the, the class tag. See? Simply beautiful design. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't replace the bottom, I don't think. Ah, family is everything. Love, loyalty, and respect. Oh, forever. Oh, that's because forever is not long enough. So you would go to forever and you could put forever in heart forever in your heart save all refresh it love loyalty respect oh, forever in your heart why did, oh father and son let me see I don't know why father forever let me see something yeah, father and son forever in your heart. What it is, it's mobily responding, and for whatever the reason, it just gets bigger there. But that's it. That's the extent of it. And uh, this is just for editing these first three pictures and this text information right in here within this file tree. This is the beginning stages of editing the template. And um, speaking with you know one of my students, they said that they like editing when they first open up this particular template. They like editing these three images first, and I agree, because if I'm ever going to do uh, anything with this particular website, first thing that I want to edit and render is these three images that are my splash page and my message to my target audience. This is great. Next thing we'll do is possibly the, instead of default, will be the legit logo that pertains to you. And then we're going to go into changing the About Us section and doing social media. All right. Thank you so much, and we're doing great.